Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I am Weldon Hershey, inventor and co-inventor of the all-new Clam Predator tip-up. And for those of you that have purchased this here tip-up, we do appreciate your support. And I wanted to give this little clip out there of things not to do with these trigger systems before you get on the ice. Now, I'm sure if you've purchased this or you are interested in purchasing this, you have seen the video that shows how to set this up. And that would be on Clam's YouTube site and I believe it's on their website as well. So I just want to do a short clip before you get on the ice, you know what to look for and what not to do on these triggers. So I'm going to readjust the camera and I will show you what not to do. I'm going to start with the flag only trigger. So if you've watched the proper setup videos, you'll know that it goes this way. But some people like me don't always look at how to videos. They look at the mechanism and say, oh, I know how to figure that out. And you might think there's a nice spot for it. I'll put it in there. Guess what, my friend, that's not going to work. And I'll show you why. You got it all set up. Fish is ready to take a bite. Fish takes it. Flag doesn't go up. Line doesn't go out. You're mad at Clam. You're mad at the engineer. Guess what? It's not Clam. It's not the engineer. It's you because you didn't take the time to figure out how to set this up. You put it in here, you're going to have a problem. So you set it up right. You put it behind that against the sleeve. Put your line in there. Now you're ready to rock and roll. And it works. So there's a do not do and a do on this trigger. Next I will show you these here rings. See these rings right here? These pins? Always make sure they go in from the left side. If you're looking from the rod out to the triggers, make sure they go in on the left side because what can happen is if, not saying it will all the time, but if you put them in on the opposite side, there's a chance this ring can catch into the mechanism. So just to avoid any issue of that maybe happening at all, put it in on the left hand side. Storage does not matter. But the, it, the trigger in action, rule of thumb, make sure, make sure, make sure this pin goes in from the left hand side. And I'm not saying you're going to have issues with it on the right hand side, but you're going to eliminate the possibility of having issue with that by inserting it on the left hand side. Other than that, those are the only do nots that I know of with this here trigger system. And there's my short list of do nots for these Predator tip up triggers. And I can't wait to get back out on the ice and I hope this prepares you a little bit on how to use these before you get out there on the ice. And I hope that maybe this winter I can run into a few of you uh, whether it be in Colorado, Minnesota, or Wisconsin, don't be afraid to say hi. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.